Look who's back. Back again. Hello everyone, how are you? I feel like it's been forever since I recorded a video. It's been about two months. Um, yeah, I missed you guys a lot. I miss sharing what I find with you guys. I've just been really busy and I got married. I'm gonna try and show you my ring without showing you my horrible spray tan. Oops. <laughs> um, but we've just been really busy. Um, my new husband and I are actually now working together. That's another new change. It's just been a lot going on these last couple months and I've just been trying to enjoy the ride and not work a whole lot on YouTube. Um, definitely worked a lot on reselling though that consumed most of the summer. <laughs> um, but our sales have been really good. Um, everything's been good, so I hope everything has been good for you guys as well. And I'm really excited to get back into these videos, uh, mainly haul videos, just because that's really what I enjoy sharing with you guys and recording. Um, yeah, and now that my husband is taking over the logistical side of the business, it gives me more time to shop. <laughs> so that means hopefully more haul videos for you guys um, as we expand our business and grow this thing together. Um, so yeah, this haul video I have is a good old classic Goodwill outlet haul. Um, I have about 100 pounds of stuff here. I'm only gonna show you the clothing. All the shoes are still in my car. I have yet to clean them, um, but I just cleaned up all these clothes. So I figured I'd show you guys what I got. Um, but yeah, so 100 pounds of clothing. I pay $1.29 a pound at my outlet, so for everything here I paid uh, roughly like $140 with tax, um, but that was also including the shoes, so probably about 20 pounds of that was shoes. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the clothing in this haul and then maybe I'll do a separate haul with shoes. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to get right into it. Sorry if I ramble a lot. I feel a little rusty. Um, since I haven't recorded a video in so long. Oh, I miss you guys. I'm excited. Um, okay. I'm getting right into it. <laughs> um, the first thing is this little Madewell basic v-neck shirt. I just like the little stripes in the pockets. Um, it is a 2x, x small, 2 extra small, double x. It's a 2 extra small. Okay, yeah. It's just a, uh, double extra small extra extra small but I usually get about 10 15 dollars for these sometimes I'll bundle them if I have a couple in the same size but I don't think I have any others in that size so next is this Athleta skirt and it is a size small it's like the softest material ever kind of has like a little peplum um, it needs to be steamed. It's a little wrinkly from the wash, but super cute skirt. And I'll probably get like $15 to $20 for that. This is a mod cloth fervor. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Another double extra. I don't even know like how the proper way to say that is. Uh, extra, extra small. It's kind of a tongue twister. But um, it's just a cute little fit and flare dress. It's gray. It looks like it's missing a belt, but usually when I find a dress with the bins, it is missing a belt. My favorite brand of all time. I actually got quite a bit of it in this haul. You will see later, but it's just a pair of cool stealth pants. And these are the convertible zip off pants. And they do have a little bit of wear. Um, one of my friends that actually watches my videos gave these to me. So thank you friend. Um, he said he didn't want them because they had a little bit of staining, which they do, but I sell them in this condition a lot of the time, so I'll still probably get like $20 to $25 for these. They do super well on eBay, but they also have been selling on Poshmark. Menswear has been doing really well for me on Poshmark lately, maybe even better than women's stuff, but it's definitely been impressing me. Um, this is a North Face women's size small, little black zip-up fleece jacket. These are going to start selling decently well, um, so I like to stock up on them. I'll probably get like $20 to $25 for this, but it's in good condition and very light, so I grabbed it. Another 
cool piece I'm really excited about. It's a men's extra large and this is 100% merino wool. It is a full zip gray sweater coat. Got the logo there even though it's blinding out the camera and then the logo on the back as well. And I'll probably price this one at about $45 to $50. So I was really excited about that. I always get excited when I find that brand. A lot of men's stuff in this haul. Um, a pair of Piranha men's. These are a bigger size, size 40. But these are in excellent condition. Uh, just a pair of men's hiking pants. They're kind of like that nylon stretchy material. Um, these are not convertible pants, but I'll still probably get $25 at least for these. And they look like they weren't worn much, but they do need to be steamed because they are very wrinkly. This is a brand I have never heard of, and when I researched it, I couldn't even find it. So maybe I shouldn't have picked it up, but I just felt good about it. It's called Summer, Summer Lou Beachwear. Um, and this tag is really interesting. It has like an eyeball on it, and I'm not exactly sure what that says. But it's just a really pretty sheer kind of cover up um, with little bell sleeves and stud detail. So, well, I don't know. Maybe 20 bucks? I don't know. It's kind of the end of beach wear season, but that's okay. <laughs> um, this is. Oh, a mountain, or no, marmot. Not mountain hardware. A marmot black hoodie just like a lightweight cotton hoodie um probably like 15 dollars for that nothing crazy it is a size medium okay this is one of my favorite pieces that i found it's decidual or i always pronounce it wrong i feel like but it is a size small and it's this beautiful embroidered skirt flowers all over it and I'll probably price this at about 35 it's super fun this is an athleta tank top um, it's kind of like a scuba material but there's a little logo but this part is like that thick scuba knit I usually get like $15 for these not much, but worth picking up. And this is a 2X small. Double extra small. Extra, extra small. I don't know why that is confusing me today. Um, this is a pair of high leet. I think that's how you say it. I've never found these before. High leet athletic shorts. And if you don't follow, follow the college picker, on um, Instagram or YouTube, you definitely should. I learned this brand from him. He talked about, I think he wears them himself, but um, I found four pairs of them at the Goodwill outlet, so I was really excited about that. The resale is about like $30 a pair, which is pretty good. It's pretty comparable with Lululemon, and these are all size large, long. So that's what the logo looks like. Um, but you can definitely feel the quality. They have zippered pockets, even though they're all unzipped. <laughs> And they're just a really nice pair of shorts, so you should get about $30 per pair. This is um, a pair of Nike Pro women's, just like compression leggings. They're in really great shape. Um, and these do have like a little mesh cut out on the back. They're a size medium. And I get about $15 for those. I've sold this before. It is an Athleta zip up sweater. It's definitely an older piece. It's a size medium, but it's just black and red. And then the back has this really pretty like floral, almost kind of holiday looking pattern. Um, but I think I got like $20 for the last one, maybe 20 to 25. So I'll probably price this around that. This is a brand I don't grab a ton of, but I really like this piece. It is ASOS, and it is a size 
US 4. It's definitely oversized. It's this like mohair wool blend cardigan with this knit detail down the sleeve. Uh, it's super chunky and long. Showing up a little more blue, but it's kind of like a sea foam green color, but really pretty. Um, I'll probably price this around $30. This is an Oscar de la Renta pink label. And I'm not sure if that's higher end or I'm assuming it's lower end. It doesn't feel super expensive, but um, it was really lightweight and I think it'll sell. Just a pretty little camisole type thing. Probably like a nightgown, I would assume. But it is a size large. And I'll probably get like $15. Had an itch. I could tell what this was from a mile away. <laughs> um, this is the Barefoot Dreams. I'm pretty sure it's the Calypso wrap. I should know. I've sold so many of these dang things. Um, it's a small, it's a small slash medium. Which is an ombre, cozy chic cardigan and these do pretty well about like $35 typically depending on the size the bigger sizes do better but always excited to find barefoot dreams at the bids or anywhere <laughs> I love that brand what is this the soft surroundings something that is inside out completely inside out <laughs> Okay, it's like a cowl neck top with one inside out sleeve. It's cute. It's soft surrounding. It hopefully has a style number so I can just look up a stock photo. Um, but probably like 20 bucks for that. Soft surroundings does well for me on eBay. So I pick it up. This is a mountain hardware. I think a women's size 6. Little like... Kind of sage green fleece, this little half zip, and I'll probably price this at about $25. Super lightweight. Another one of these cool jackets that I love, love to find. I don't find the jackets very often. This one is a size small, um, but I'll price this one at $45 to $50 just like the other one. And these do super well. So always exciting to find and one of those things that just like stands out to me in a bin I can just kind of tell like the stitching on those jackets it really stands out this is a pair of Solomon men's um, like windbreaker pants um, Solomon is like a ski snowboard outdoor wear company um, but these should do well with like the winter coming up and they're in really great shape. <laughs> this cardigan is so cute and I have to laugh because Lauren or Lauren Cole City Loot, if you don't follow her, you definitely should. Um, she messaged me about this little cardigan and was asking what it was because she saw it was pink and fluffy and that's totally up her alley. And it's this little baby cardigan. Boop. So, Lauren, I don't know, maybe you can squeeze. It's real cute. <laughs> but this is uh, the cardigan. It's by Mayoral. I don't even know. It's like a made in Spain brand, but it actually looked like it does pretty decent. So, like 30 bucks for this. But, Lauren, you know, if you want it, hit me up. <laughs> so cute. Can you tell I have baby fever? <laughs> Just a little bit. This is a Sundance um, v-neck kind of wrap front dress. It's orange. It is a size small. And I'll probably price this at like $20 to $25. It's pretty basic, so nothing crazy. This is another pair of those Hylie shorts. I'll just show you the brand again. And these have... The 
the full spell out down the um, leg here. So super nice, about $30 for those. I haven't found these in a very long time and I'm pretty sure these are a kid size, but they are carrots and these are just um, like equestrian horse riding breeches. Um, there's a, I think there's a name for this when they're like not full seated, but anyways, I used to sell a lot of these and I knew what it was called, but they have like the little, little padding in there. They sell well, like 20, 25 bucks. This is a new to me brand, but it is so cute that I had to try it out. It is Ritu Kumar and it's just this very embroidered gorgeous little tunic dress and then it has side slits on both sides so I thought that was really fun and I'll try it out especially at bin prices probably like $25 but super fun this is a pair of leaf stotter from anthropology very linty pinstriped pants so I'm just gonna show you that and I'm gonna lint roll them because they need it. This is a pair of Crew Cuts, J. Crew's Kids Line, size 12. Little jegging jean type things with little moto zipper pockets. These feel like they were never worn or washed. They're in amazing condition, but I'll probably get about 20 bucks for those. This HD in Paris, little patterned dress a little fit and flare it is a size extra extra small petite like that's like the theme of this haul and yeah super cute hopefully I'll get like 30 to 35 this is a pair of Oakley sweat shorts uh, men's sweat shorts they're a size extra large and super nice. See Oakley on the back. Ooh, man, they're drowning me out. Um, but I'll probably get like $20 for those, maybe a little bit less. I don't sell that brand a lot, but I thought those would do well because sweat shorts are in. This is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied men's jeans. They are the Lux Khaki. One thing I like about AG, other than the fact that they usually sell, is that they have styles, almost always, in the inside of their jeans. But these are just a nice blue khaki. And hopefully I'll get like $30 for those. This is a pair of super distressed American Eagle jeans. They are a size 8. And they're distressed on the front. The raw hem. And they have a little bit of distressing on the back as well, which I think is like a new, a new trend. I don't know. Maybe it's a little old, but I got two pairs of jeans that have that in this haul. So I thought it was interesting. Um, this is a vintage or an older tag Lily Pulitzer. Um, just a knit like kind of boho halter top. Has a piece of string on it. Um, but yeah, it's super cute, super stretchy. It'd be adorable for like a festival, with a little halter. Uh, I'll probably get like $20 or less, but it's adorable. This is a loft dress, and I typically only pick up this brand if it's super cute um, or if it's new with tags. And this one is new with tags for $79.50. Just a gray dress with a little button detail. And it is a size two. So probably about 20 to $25 for that dress. I don't know which pile to grab from. I have like two. <laughs> I'm just going at them both. Take one item from one and then one from the other. Um, this is a Patagonia. I forget what these are called. I just listed one the other day with an R on it. I should know, but it's like a waffle fleece. And this is a men's size large. It is black and just a half zip 
I actually found this in the shoe rotation, so that was interesting. But these sell well, so I was excited. Um, nope, that's not a hole. It's a piece of lint. I should get about 35 to 45 for this, somewhere around there. This is an adorable double X, double X S. <laughs> um, J. Crew top. And I think this is the newer J. Crew label with the little cursive, but it's just like a little velour um, sleeveless mock neck pink shirt. And let's see what it's from. It is from holiday 2018. So it is fairly new. Whoops. Um, but I'll probably get about $20 or less. Um, for some reason, our outlet had a bunch of these shirts that were brand new. A lot of them were brand new in the bag. I didn't get any of those, but I did get this one that's brand new without tags. Um, it's KJUS. I think I've sold this brand before, but I don't remember what it was. This is just a little sleeveless women's athletic polo with a piece of lint. God. Like everything's covered in lint from the fall. Oh. Um, but it is a size small and I should get about $20 or less. Oh, this is adorable. It actually has a tag from the store. So sometimes our outlet does get stuff from um, stores. But this is just a little pink tank top uh, with like a little keyhole back. It is a size six women's and that's what the back looks like and I'll probably get like fifteen dollars for that this is a pair of Athleta um, size small tall these are the Batona jeggings I just sold a pair in black for I think like 20 bucks so I'm assuming that's what I'll get for these but they sell really well, especially with the pockets. This is a Lucky Brand ivory knit sweater with this adorable little tassel detail on each side. Just a cute sweater, size small. Um, I'll get less than 20 bucks for it. This is a pair of Free People size 20 26 I think it's kind of wrinkled but they're just a pair of distressed skinny jeans and I usually get around $20 for that there's not a not a bunch of uh, price variants in some of this stuff but sometimes that's just how it goes this is a Patagonia men's organic cotton shirt these really don't do super well for me but i still grab them just because they're really light um and it's not missing a button it's just not buttoned <laughs> it's there but um this one i really like the color on and i'll probably price it at like 15 to 20 bucks this is super cute it is life is good which has been doing really good for me um, even just the graphic shirts, but this is a crew, like a crew neck kind of oversized pattern sweatshirt. It is a two XL, um, but has a really pretty like floral pattern on it. So I'll probably price this at about 30. I don't think I've ever picked up this brand, but this piece is really pretty. It is Chan. Woo. Okay, that's not the name. It is Chan Lu, not Chan Wu, but it's going to drown me out. So um, it's a super gorgeous deep plunge uh, beaded chiffon top. And this brand looked like it, like certain pieces did really well. The prices were kind of all over the place, but I think this one might be a better one. So I don't know, maybe around 40 to 50 bucks is what I'll start it at, but it's gorgeous. I'm not sure the size. It looks like the tag was cut off. Uh, this is a Crew Cuts Girls Little Striped Peplum top. I usually get about $15 or less. It's a size 10. Super cute. It would actually look really cute paired with the jeans that I found from Crew Cuts. So maybe I will do that. 
This is just a pair of American Eagle skinny jeans. Just bread and butter, but I like to pick them up, especially while I'm at the bins, because that stuff sells. Like for 15 bucks, but it sells. I got a couple pairs of Worth pants. So not Worthington, it is Worth. For the longest time I passed up this brand because I thought it was Worthington, but they are different. Um, it actually does pretty well on eBay for me. So these are 100% linen. They need to be steamed as linen does. <laughs> but just a nice pair of trouser pants, uh, size six, I think all of them are. This is a pair of Mountain Hardware, size extra small, turquoise, and nylon-y hiking pants. Super cute with a stretchy band. Probably get about 20 to 25 for those. Um, I would say this is a bolo because this stuff has been doing pretty well for me. Well, I always knew like Lucky Brand, any of the older embroidered stuff, um, whether it's like floral embroidery, the more oriental embroidery, any of those do really well. Any of like the uh, hoodies or sweatpants, but even the printed ones that are not embroidered like this have been selling pretty well for me. Um, I'll probably get like 25 to 30, but I have been finding that like the sweatpants that even have like prints like this are selling really quick. So hopefully this one does good. It is a size small. And it has these little birds all over it. So I'll probably price it at about 35 and see what offers I get. It's another pair of super distressed jeans. These are blank NYC. Super distressed on the front and the back. Like, yeah, on the back. So pretty sure it's intentional, but... Um, yeah, they're very distressed. Someone wants them, hopefully, for like 20 bucks. I don't know. That's probably well priced, Matt. This is a J. Crew double zero little dress with a pretty paisley pattern, and I'll probably get about 15 to 20 dollars for it. Got another pair of Worth pants. These are a wool blend, size six, just like a brown trouser pant. Probably get about $25 for those. These are Daughters of the Liberation Anthropology Corduroy shorts with little button detail. Super adorable. They look like they are high-waisted. They're size two, and I'll probably get about 25 bucks. This is a very wrinkly pair of men's Vince pants, and they are a size 32. Um, they're just a wool skinny trouser pant that really needs to be steamed. And I will do that before I give them to my lister, but I did not have time before this haul. Um, this is a really cute Fabletics fleece. It feels like it's like new, like never worn it's a little asymmetrical zip kind of has like the patagonia better sweater feel to it it's an extra small and this should do pretty well i'll probably price it around 30 bucks this is a really cute pair of free people size 30 corduroy floral skinny jeans super fun Probably get about 20 to 25 for them. This is a brand I've never heard of, but when I grabbed it, I could feel it was just really high quality. It feels like wool. Um, this is the brand. It is Our Legacy, and this is a size ooh, 54. I don't know what that converts to in US, but it's a really cute oversized shirt dress, and it has two pockets. Buttons all the way down. Adorable. But these comps looked pretty good. Um, like maybe around $100 for this. We'll see. This is my first time getting this brand. But definitely, I would say it's a bolo. Our legacy. Super nice piece. 
This is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied The Daisy. Little Daisy Duke shorts. They are very short, very rolled up, but they're just little gray shorts and maybe I'll get $20, maybe a little less. But they were lightweight. This is a Meadow Rue Anthropology Extra Small little wrap front eyelet blouse. Super cute. Super light and fun. It would have been perfect for summertime, even though summer is pretty much ending. Uh, even though it's like 90 degrees out still. Maybe somebody will want it for like 20 bucks. This is just a Nike dry fit little athletic skirt. These sell super well for me. Not for crazy money, but like 15 bucks and they sell quick, which is what I like. So it has the shorts in there, size medium. It'll do well. This is another thing that needs a little steam. It is a Lulu's size small, little romper, adorable. It has pockets, has a keyhole back. Super fun. Um, so I'll probably price this at about 30, maybe a little bit less. It just depends. Some of the Lulu styles do better than others. Wow, my hair looks really short. Sometimes it's not that short. <laughs> Although I have been debating cutting it. I think I do that like every three years. I just want to cut all my hair off. Can anyone else relate? Um, this is an <laughs> American apparel uh, bodycon dress super stretchy, has like a lace nude print with an open back. Um, I don't know what size it is, but it looks tiny. Oh, it's a medium. So, I don't know, 20 bucks for that. This is another moth sweater, and this one's really cool. Where's the tag? And it's this like super oversized cowl neck, ombre knit sweater. It's really hard to show because this cowl neck is gigantic, but it's really cute. And hopefully we'll get like 30 bucks for it. This is just a basic cabby v-neck blouse. It's super soft though. Um, just a really light heather gray. And I'll probably price this at like $15. Another pair of these high leet shorts. These I should get about 30 bucks for. I actually think my husband is going to keep these though. They have really cool like camo prints and they are very nice. Very, very nice. I can see why they are so expensive. This is a pair of Prana blue um, leggings. They do have back pockets, which is nice. They are a size small. Super cute. Should get about 20 bucks. Little Nike Pro shorts. I get about like 10 to $15 for these, but they do well on eBay. And these are in pretty good shape. You always have to be careful because sometimes you'll get them and the Nike swoosh is all cracked and falling off, which I probably would not get them then, but otherwise they do pretty well. This is a Title Nine skirt. It is a size small. Just a blue floral pattern. I'll probably price it at about fifteen to twenty dollars. Another pair of these high leat shorts in the blue color. Ooh. So about thirty dollars for those. Another moth cardigan. I got a lot of moth sweaters in this haul. It is a size extra small. It's this uh, kind of maroon metallic knit cardigan. It's a little button. There's two buttons actually, but I could not figure out where they buttoned. So this is the cutest romper. It is mini Bowden, if I can find the tag. 
Ooh, I don't know. I don't know where the tag is. Oh, there it is. It's a little wrinkled. Mini Bowden. But it's this little rainbow printed romper. So stinking cute. And hopefully that sells quick because that is definitely a summer romper. This is a silk Eloise Anthropology, just a little tank top. I really love the color. It is very wrinkly, but I get a little scared when I steam silk because I don't think you're supposed to do that. But it's super light. I'll maybe get 10 bucks. I thought I'd give it a shot. I also got a bunch of random band t-shirts. I think this is the only one that's in this pile, but just a little Lincoln Park t-shirt, you know, a little throwback. I think I'm going to bleach a bunch of t-shirts one of these days, so I think I'm just going to add that to my pile to bleach. This is an adorable logo, Lori Goldstein size, extra large, embellished sweater. Oh, not so cute no more. It has a pretty decent style, decent size snag that I did not notice, but unfortunately it's my size so looks like i'll just keep it <laughs> bummer <laughs> uh, this is a we the free free people size medium little like flouncy floral top another pair of worth wool blend or no these are a cotton blend pant should get like 20 bucks. All right. I also got this Lululemon gray strappy tank top. And the tank tops don't do that well. Um, usually less than 20 bucks, but it's a size six. And yeah, I'm not gonna not pick up Lululemon at the Goodwill, especially the outlet. The Goodwill, I probably would pass it up because they're pricing it a little high nowadays. But that's okay. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces I got, and it's just J. Jill. Um, it's a size small. But look at the embroidery and the fringe. I am obsessed. It is so cute. Um, so, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite pieces of the haul, and it's just J. Jill. So sometimes you gotta expand your brands. Just pick it up because it's cute. All right, I think that is all the clothes I have to share with you guys today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I really miss talking with you guys and sharing what I find. If you guys like this video and wanna see more hauls and reseller related content from me, please subscribe down below and comment what videos you'd like to see. Um, I'm really excited to be back and sharing my finds with you guys. It was a nice break and much needed, but I definitely missed YouTube and missed you guys and just sharing what I find. Um, that's really what it's about. That's what this whole channel is about. It's just sharing what I find and hopefully um, empowering you guys to go look for these brands at your local thrift store or don't. Just watch the videos it's up to you but I just enjoy sharing them with you guys so I'm going to continue sharing my finds and if you enjoy it keep watching <laughs> and if you don't just just please don't and just hope you guys all have a great week and a great week of sales until next time bye